Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn about a very, very important and realistic, uh, a very good tool whose name is uh, uh, Barman. So Barman, the name uh, denotes the backup and recovery management tool for PostgreSQL. So there are a few slides which have been taken from uh, barman.org. We will uh, see it later, but uh, let's go and see the basic details why we are talking about Barman. So going back to the PostgreSQL uh, backup strategy, so there are three approaches which you can use uh, for the backup of PostgreSQL database. One is SQL dump, second is file uh, system level backup, and third is continuous archiving. In SQL dump, you just use the PG dump uh, database name and, and then you can take the backup of the database. There is another tool which is uh, uh, for taking the backup of all the databases and its name is pg underscore dump all and you can uh, redirect it to a file wherein all the information related to all the databases which are residing in your PostgreSQL will be written over here. The second uh, backup strategy not realistic so far is file system uh, level backup. So you know uh, entire data of your Postgre uh, is residing in your data directory if you have not kept it outside. So if you just take a tar backup of the file system which is holding the data directory, uh, then you have something kind of cold backup. But there are a lot of disadvantages and, and impractical approaches one is that you need to completely shut down uh, your uh, access to the database. It is not like you shut down your connection and it is going to work. That is not going to happen that way. And the other way is you need to take a consistent snapshot of that particular file system where your data is residing. If you have some tool, then it is going to work. Otherwise, your data will not be consistent. And during restoration, it might be a problem. You can use rsync as well along with your uh, your file system level backup when when everything is running and during the final cut when you wanted to take the final snapshot using this file system level backup uh, you can you can make sure that there is no data which is there in the buffer or there is no access to the database the third approach is continuous archiving and point in time recovery so these are the th three different approaches which are uh, taken care when you uh, do a backup of PostgreSQL. So the above approaches were not sufficient and there was a tool which was known. There are a couple more tools which are very, very famous and being continuously used in PostgreSQL world. So one of them is Barman. So this is Backup and Recovery Manager for PostgreSQL. This is an open source administration tool which is used for disaster recovery for PostgreSQL and uh, it's written in, in, in Python programming language and it can do the, uh, the remote backup for multi PostgreSQL server and Barman it creates the backup based on the PostgreSQL logs and it is not like your pg underscore dump which is a text format so Barman was originally developed by second quadrant and now it is it is being uh, uh, progressed from here by enterprise TV. So if we talk about the top features of Barman, why it is preferred as a backup and recovery tool for Postgre. So one of them is the back backup catalogs. You can maintain the backup catalog. You can do an incremental backup. You can have the retention policy. You can do the remote recovery. You can do the archiving. You can do the compression of the wall files and the backups. These are some of the basic features. If you talk about what Barman can do. It can do the full hot physical backup of your PostgreSQL server. It can do point in time recovery. It can manage multiple PostgreSQL server. It can remotely backup using rsync or, or SSH or it can be done using the pg base underscore backup so before you go through this you make sure you understand what does pg underscore base backup and uh, uh, what is your streaming replication so you need to know those concepts it supports for both your local and uh, remote recovery. It supports for your wall archiving and streaming. It supports the uh, zero data loss capability as well. It can do incremental backup and recovery. It can do 
parallel backup and recovery as well and it's it's written to in, in the uh, uh, python programming language there is an obvious question which comes up when pg dump which is a very simple tool to do the backup why do we need something which is which is uh, really you have to perform n number of steps and uh, you have to install it and why do we need to use parman so barman uh, if you talk about uh, the comparison of barman with pg underscore dump pg underscore dump is used for performing the logical backup you do the backup of the database and it will be returned in in a text format at particular time of the day let's say current timing of mine is 2 p.m and if i day take a backup at this particular time and my data got crashed at 6 p.m so whatever has been their act, uh, transactions they will be lost so when we talk about barman when we take a backup of your uh, of your database postgresql database we need to make sure the transaction they are also backed up uh, uh, as well as your database which has been backed up so that's that's the basic idea behind why barman is is a really backup and uh, recovery management tool uh, this is how this has been entirely taken up from uh, uh, barman.org and uh, if you see the design and the architecture it, it clearly indicates like you should install barman on a dedicated server you should not share it with the storage with your postgresql server and uh, you need to test before you put it into the production you need to make sure uh, the poc is done in a proper way and uh, and th this way you can do it for for many servers so one barman backup server can be used for backing up your for the postgresql which is running in your entire uh, entire uh, enterprise environment so one backup uh, server having the barman installed from remotely you can manage your entire postgresql environment so you can have uh, the uh, streaming backup there, there are two things which you need to understand there is something called a screaming backup versus the rsync or ssh so barman works remotely via ssh or rsync for physical backup operation it supports for your uh, streaming replication protocol for backup operation so if you if you don't know what is streaming replication you need to go and check that back behind the scene uh, streaming replication uses uh, pg underscore backup so when you are using the backup uh, uh, using the streaming replication which is supported from postgre version 9.4 onwards and in 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 the worst case scenario if you wanted to use the rsync or or ssh then it is also available from the older version which is 8.3 and it is recommended in almost all the cases other than where uh, there is some kind of limitation with the pg underscore base backup and uh, let's say your database uh, a large size database can can take a, a benefit uh, if you if you put uh, take the incremental backup or or deduplication so what shall we be considered shall we consider the streaming archiving or wall streaming or both for barman so uh, it, it it depends upon your requirement so in initial version it was called as xlog or uh, now it is known as the wall files which are required for point in time recovery so uh, Varman is, is supporting your standard uh, wall files uh, which are coming through the postgre archive command and uh, it comes uh, uh, through your your barman uh, wall archive which is which you can execute from barman cli uh, command line uh, prompt so if you use this wall files are are archived and and when you switch to a new wall file uh, then it is going to be beneficial so you need to understand what you need to to do so uh, you can uh, if you see the postgresql backup scenario you can backup uh, using the streaming protocol uh, which is applicable from uh, uh, postgre 9.4 uh, version and it can use the streaming backups uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, uh, have a backup server running with uh, with barman uh, software uh, 
uh, with this, which is the tool and you need to have a Postgre server which you need to take backup. So in an streaming replication, you need to have a connection with the uh, with the base uh, with the backup server, and uh, back behind the scene, it is going to use the pg underscore uh, base backup, and for streaming, it is going to use your pg receive vault. So generally, the base backup, which contains the base of the entire uh, uh, physical backup and whatever uh, archives have generated after that, they should be streamed, and it is basically good for the Docker in environment so for our for our case uh, you can configure a standard archiving as well as uh, you can do the wall archiving as well so what do you need you need an uh, ssh connection on top of what you have seen earlier which is used to connect your uh, your barman user which you can uh, which can connect to your barman server so it is a database user which you have to create in your uh, postgresql database and the archive command it can use so it is just the theoretical part so just not try to make some sense out of it just understand the terms and when we see the demo then it will be really helpful the second way of doing it is backup uh, when you are using the rsync or ssh so this is the traditional way which has been been applicable in the older version which is 8 onwards and uh, and uh, 9 onwards as well uh, wherein you are using the table spaces uh, incremental backup parallel backup etc so these are some of the requirements which we need to do and we are not going to see all of this the installation will be coming later just just see uh, how what are the different scenarios one is streaming only setup in a streaming only setup you are supposed to, this is my postgresql which is running on a dedicated host just for this example and this is a backup server where in in your uh, your tool which is uh, barman is is running so you need to create a connection you need to make sure that both way connections are possible and uh, uh, and postgresql connection is happening from your backup server to pg that means you need to create a user over here and that user should be able to connect remotely that means you need to allow the connection in in hpa.con file and uh, using the pg underscore base backup uh, from the tool barman tool it is going to take a base backup and uh, using the streaming backup it is going to take the the required transaction log files and the same is true when you do it for the wall streaming this this is the basic setup and if you wanted to do it for the wall archiving so uh, everything remains same the only additional thing will be archive command uh, which will be executed uh, via the var uh, wall archive so instead of uh, something uh, wall archives which are available online if it is it is put in the archive so it has to fetch those using the barman wall archives the second scenario the the third scenario is traditional uh, barman backup setup so uh, there's nothing uh, different over here the only thing will be you need to have a, a ssh connection established between your postgresql server and the bar barman server which is a dedicated server so everything remains same you need to have a connection established between your backup server and and barman server so that means there is a database user which needs to be created and that will be a kind of admin user for the backup uh, and other stuff and uh, it is going to be stored over here so uh, you need to have the archive uh, command enabled so that uh, the uh, barman arc, uh, wall archive can pick up the archives which are there in the uh, um, archives there's another scenario where in, uh, uh, you can do it using the uh, rsync or ssh so that that's another uh, uh, another part which is so you have a connection established between your postgresql server and backup server uh, you have the the uh, the backup which is running through rsync or ssh and uh, you have the the archives which are coming through the uh, through the barman wall archive and uh, streaming wall archives are going to the to the target location which is your backup server and that's that's the basics all about the uh, 
the barman so just a recap a barman is a, a, is a fantastic tool to dig the backup and recovery of multiple uh, databases in your environment so you need to to uh, set up it on a dedicated server to avoid any kind of uh, issues with that and uh, you can perform a number of things you can perform incremental backup you can put the re uh, retention policy you can uh, check the uh, the backup catalogs you can do a point in time recovery so everything and uh, there are uh, improvements which are happening day by day on this so as of now this is being maintained by uh, enterprise db but it was originally developed by second quadrant and i believe this is going to be a good tool because uh, being uh, backups is very very important and and anytime there may be a requirement that you need to restore your database to a point in time so you need to make sure all the transactions log should be available at that particular time so that your database can be restored I hope uh, this should be helpful and thank you.